we see the story of Jesus going to the cross and everything seems to kind of be hand in hand. And then there's this one character that seems to interrupt the narrative. His name's Barabbas. We don't even know much about him except that he's a murderer, a leader of an insurrection, a rebel. And why he's even mentioned, sometimes I'm not so sure. It's like, what? This is about Jesus going to the cross. So in this moment, Pilate thinks, I hold the destinies of these two men in my hand. I know the Jews have a tradition that on a holy day, I will release one of the prisoners on death row. Pilate stands on this audacious stage who now presents Jesus, son of the living God, versus Barabbas, the thug and rebel. He says, all right, who do you want? This is blasphemy. This is, this is gone too far. There's no comparison. This is a rightful prisoner. A man who should be on death row. He's a rebel against Rome. He leads to a rebellion. He murders people. He's a bad man. He's a thug and he's a crook. He deserves the chains and he deserves the crucifixion. Jesus, what has he done but heal, restore, deliver, set free, open blind eyes, open deaf ears, Heal the lame and the leper. What has what Jesus done? Who do you want? Who do you want Barabbas? Yeah. Give us Barabbas. People say, give us Barabbas. The Roman soldiers come up and they put the key in and they unlock Barabbas from his chain. He's the one that took your place. 
But God, what if I do it again? I still be here. Oh God, I don't want to hurt you. I love you. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Give me a sense of This is all we got. It's all I got. It's all you got. We can play games. We can play church games. We can pretend like some people are better than others and that's why they're blessed, but we can all come to the honest conclusion that it's God. That it's God alone. The greatest challenge is not your discipline, your devotion, your focus. Your greatest challenge is believing the gospel. Could it be that there's a God in a life so scandalous, so wide, so deep, so vast, so high, so I give up my sin. I stand in this empty space of forgiveness and acceptance while Jesus walks off to the cross that I deserve. I see him, I see him walking to the post to be whipped. As I stand a free man, all the attention is turned now. And I feel the Lord God saying, Go, son, live your life. I'll pay the price. Jesus is a God.